hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going straight into showing you how you can use your mobile phone as your viewfinder when you are filming on your canon camera i'm also going to be sharing with you how you can transfer files from your canon camera onto your mobile phone if you don't have a laptop where you edit this is something that you can opt for i'm also going to be sharing how you can also adjust the settings on your camera while you're actively filming okay so if that sounds like something that you're interested in in any way then sweetheart you need to keep on watching Okay, so I'm diving right into what you're going to be needing. So this is available for both Android and for iPhone users. So we're going to go on to App Store, okay? And then we're going to just go to search and type in Canon Camera Connect. So this is the app which we are going to be using. And I already have this on my phone so you can see this is what the app looks like and we're just going to download this so download this and then move on to the next step okay okay so this is basically what the app looks like right now because you're just starting out you want to click on easy connection guide and that is just going to guide you through the process okay so um, we're going to go on to um, select the camera we're using and for mine it's the Canon EOS 750D so we're just going to if you want to connect another camera just because my camera is already connected to this you can pick this one connect camera and then type in the name of the camera which you want so as uh, seven seven 50d okay so this is my camera and i'm gonna click okay is this your camera and i'm gonna say yes okay so they are going to guide you on what to actually do so now we're going to go on to our camera and just follow their instructions okay so we're going to click on menu right here and you can see uh it's not going to be available when connected to a laptop okay so we're going to just unplug this unplug this cable and then we can go ahead to enable wi-fi okay so now we go on to wi-fi function and we're going to try to connect to a smartphone okay so i'm going to click on connect to smartphone now you can see i don't want to skip all this part just so that you guys um, don't get confused if you see all these pop-ups okay so it says not available in movie shooting so I'm gonna come to my settings and shift this to just on and then we're gonna come here to menu Wi-Fi and we're going to connect to smartphone okay review or change settings change settings click on the camera access point mode and click make sure that you tick easy connection okay and click on okay and this is the password which you're going to enter when you're asked in the wi-fi settings of your mobile phone okay so now we're in wi-fi settings click on your camera and type in the password which is the encryption key on your camera okay so and join okay and now you can see that there has been an establishment okay so the next thing you're going to do is to go back to your camera connect app okay and then select the camera to connect to and click on it okay then you can click on okay here on your camera and connection established okay so this is what is going to show you and yeah and you can see now that connection is complete so it's connected to my camera i can click on remote live shooting right here and i can definitely see myself okay so this is me can you guys see me you see the thing is i can i can just click on this button right here I just took a picture you can actually take thumbnails so let's just try and take a thumbnail right now shall we um I think my thumbnails I usually now I'm confused I know that there's a particular part which I point towards I think it's supposed to be this way 
right i'm not sure but let's just point here and basically see um how we can create a thumbnail i'm just going to click on this button right here and that is literally going to take a picture okay so that's how you can just stay here and take thumbnails take pictures with your mobile phone your mobile phone doesn't have to show you can keep it on the table and you know take pictures okay so let's see if we can take more thumbnails and just I'll try to take more thumbnails like this and then we'll see how things turn out okay so that is how you can use your mobile phone it's very friendly very easy very handy I don't know I do everything on my mobile phone so um, yeah you can work with this so once you, you figure out that this is the settings that you want to use this is the um, camera settings ISO aperture everything is good you can now go on to switch your camera to movie shooting mode and then start filming okay so with this you can adjust your settings if you want to take your ISO to 800 you can definitely do that and that's going to be too too bright so i always keep it at 400 okay so this is what 400 is looking like or i keep it on 200 but 200 today looks very dark and you can see i am literally controlling this on my mobile phone so i'm not sure if you guys can see but yeah so I'm using my mobile phone to control the settings and um, you can play around the aperture as well send it down to 4.0 and that brightens it up a little bit if I send it to this you can see that it just gets darker and darker so um, I think it was on 4.5 right I can keep it on 4 4 isn't so bad and then the ISO at 400 which is where it was before and this was on 4.5 okay so yeah this is not going to be available when you are actively filming but with this you can adjust the settings and because because you are sitting here okay if you're adjusting the settings behind your camera you can't tell how it's going to look on you but right now i have this and whatever i touch if i touch my iso and bring it down to eight to and bring it down to 200 i'm literally saying oh 200 looks too dark so it's just a very comfortable way of adjusting your settings on your mobile phone usually this is like this is like the mini version of the eos utility app so this one is just like a mini version of the eos utility app which is on your laptop i use that one on my laptop because i feel like the laptop one is more efficient but this one this one is something that you can opt for if you don't have a laptop because with this you can play around with the settings you see okay 100 100 looks too dark except i want like a very um dreamy vibe you can see how it looks rather than changing the settings on your camera coming back to sit down oh this looks too bright going to the back again and changing the settings and coming back just to check out and see what works best so with this you can just sit down in your filming position and just be controlling things literally okay okay so um next up if we go back okay we can transfer files by clicking on images on camera and this is just going to show you all the um clips which you have the thumbnails you've taken the pictures you've taken and if you want to import anyone just select you can select as many as possible okay but because of time i'm just going to select a picture a picture takes maybe like two three seconds to import into your mobile phone so click on this any picture and click on import and that just saves on your camera saves on your um, mobile phone so if i go to the to my photo app you can definitely see the picture which i took this is how i transfer files from my canon camera to my mobile phone okay 
yeah okay so that brings us to the end of this video you can take pictures take thumbnails adjust the settings of your camera um see yourself before you start filming and see how everything is working out um you can also use this to transfer files from your lap from your canon camera onto your mobile phone if you're someone that edits on your mobile phone like me you can use this and uh, this is actually what i do okay so if this video was helpful feel free to let me know down in the comment section if you want more tutorials like this let me know down in the comment section as well um if you enjoyed it please hit that like button it helps me to know that this is something that you enjoyed and you like to see more tutorials like this so hit the like button so that i'm aware of this and yeah i'll see you guys in one of my other videos make sure you don't miss it by subscribing so check out any of my other videos i'll leave them in the end screens and you can definitely just have a blast on my channel i have a lot of content relating to filming relating to youtube if you're someone who is into natural hair i mean i got you girl so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in one of my other videos bye guys